Welcome to part 2 of PSP Slim Hacking. In this section we'll learn how to make a magic memory stick. Uh, you Hopefully you've seen uh, how to make a Pandora battery before this. If not, watch that first, it's in the description. Uh, first, you're going to download WinRAR, which is an unzipper file. It's in the description, click RAR Lab. As you can see, I'm already here. Um, so first you're going to look for your language, I'm assuming it's English. So, uh, click English. Now, depending on your default web browser, this might look different. I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but uh, it's just a normal download, so do whatever you normally do. Okay. So, uh, execute the file when prompted, and click Run. Now, this is the uh, installation part. I'm going to click Install. <clears throat> and then it's going to install the things. Then click OK. Or click OK. And you successfully downloaded WinRAR. Good job. That was easy part of getting custom firmware. Uh, now you're going to get the Magic Memory Stick file itself, also listed in the description. You're going to click Free User. And wait. 30 seconds or so. Okay, and when you can, press the download button. And once again, depending <clears throat> on your web browser, it will come up differently. So, download it normally. This also will take a little bit. Okay, so I just skipped ahead the downloading part. You're now in WinRAR with the Magic Memory Stick file in there. So you're going to highlight the magic memory stick file and then press extract to. It doesn't matter where as long as you know where. I'm just going to do my desktop because I know it's there. Uh, I've actually already extracted mine, so uh, but there, wherever you extracted it will be a folder called magic memory stick file. Um, there should be three fi uh, files in here. You're going to open MS root. I don't have anything in here right now because I already did mine. But um, you're going to go to My Computer, you should have two files. You can go to My Computer, C Drive, Local Disk, C Drive, and uh, drag the two folders that were in the MS format into the C Drive. Um, and then close it. You can go back. Alright, so now you're going to connect your PSP to your computer via USB or other memory reading device. I just connected mine with the USB. I don't have anything in it right now because I already formatted mine, uh, but you're going to format it right now. Um, and so you're going to open up a command prompt window. I don't know if you know how, but if not, then go to the magic memory stick file, which, uh, which um, you just downloaded, and open the command prompt file, and I'll bring you to this. Uh, uh, you can't really see what I'm typing, so I'm going to uh, put a, in the description exactly what to type. So just follow basically what I'm doing. Also, uh, I put X for the drive. I put, where you see an X, put your PSP drive. For example, mine is K, so I'm going to put K. Yours might be L, J, D, E, whatever. Just uh, put whatever it is. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure? And you're going to hit Y and then hit Enter. All right, and now you're going to go to your PSP and uh, disable USB mode and uh, take out your memory stick and then you're going to put your memory stick back in and enable USB again. It seems weird, but it's uh, it just clears the memory. Alright, so I just took my USB out and changed the memory stick. And I put the USB back in. And as you can see, there's nothing in my memory stick. And uh, that's what yours should look like too, right now. Alright, now I'm going to type something. Alright, now you're going to go to Disparter V3, which is in the memory stick folder, and copy all six things and uh, drag them to your um, 
your empty memory stick now. This might also take a few moments. Okay, now uh, everything's in the file. Now you're going to go back to the command prompt and uh, you're going to type something else. I'll, I'll put in the description because you can't see it and I can't verbally say it to you. And once again, I'm going to put X in the description where X represents your PSP drive, which differs from everyone. Mine is still K. Right, now a bunch of stuff's going to pop up and at the end it's going to ask you are you sure or something press Y hit enter again and uh, it says like write MS boot code and you can close that close all your windows and you should have if everything was done correctly you just created your magic memory stick okay this is the final step in obtaining custom firmware this is commonly known as the downgrading process. So as you can see, I have my PSP. Uh, this is my Pandora battery. And my memory stick, which I just made a magic memory stick with the same program that you just did. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, put the magic memory stick in. And then the pan the battery put it in. As you know, it should turn on automatically. However, now you'll actually go to a screen. It has white lettering. You can't see mine, but um this is called service mode and you have a few options. It'll press, you can say, it says press X to install 3.71 and 33, press O to install original 3.71, press square to dump the NAND, and up, um, last one. Uh, since we're installing custom firmware, we're going to press X to install 3.71 and 33. So you press X, and then a lot more white lettering comes up. This might take a while. Okay, so I skipped ahead right here, and um, the white lettering stopped and says, install success, press X to shut down PSP. So press X, the PSP will shut down. Now here's where Pandora batteries can get annoying. Since you can't turn it on normally, you have to take the battery out. Just a little bit, doesn't matter. You could, if you have another battery, now's the time to use it, but if you still have your Pandora battery, you get a charger, put it in the PSP, turn the PSP on with the charger, then it'll turn on normally. Then you can put the battery back in so it says it's charging, and you can take the charger out. Oh, uh, This version of custom firmware has the uh, UMD auto start on, so it's going to bring you to a game if you have a UMD on. Exit it when you can. Alright, so it should bring you to a red screen. Move over to uh, settings. Go to system settings. Then scroll down to system information. And then where it says system software, if it says 3.71 M33 2, then you have successfully installed custom firmware. Congratulations.